Greetings from far west Texas. My name is Pat Brantley. My wife is Louise Brantley. We live at Sierra Blanca, Texas, which is 80 miles east of El Paso, right on Interstate 10. We'd like to introduce to you our 1961 Airstream Bambi, built in Jackson Center, Ohio. We purchased Bambi in November 2012 from a lady in South Carolina. She had lost her husband some five years prior. They had owned Bambi since about 1995. As I'm walking to the back of Bambi, I'd like to mention that we have two other vintage trailers. The first one parked right behind Bambi is our 1986 Airstream Excella, 32 foot. We've owned this trailer since 1991. We really don't think of it as a vintage trailer as when we purchased it, it was just almost just like new. Behind the Excella, we have a 1956 8x50 Spartan, which we purchased in 1996 from the son of the original owner. It was in very poor shape, and we spent five years restoring it to its original beauty. Coming back around to the back of Bambi, we might point out that Bambi has a 1961 Texas license plate. I bought this plate off of eBay, had it restored, and it's now recognized by the Texas DMV as the legal plate on Bambi. We'll now walk on back around and go inside of Bambi. Bambi does have the famous door in a door. When we purchased Bambi, she was in good original condition. We did apply a fresh coat of polyurethane varnish to all of the woodwork. We had a new checkerboard tile installed. The original toilet was not working, so we installed a new ceramic toilet. Also, the water heater was leaking, so we installed a new uh, hot water heater. This towel bar swings back out of the way for access to the bathroom. It did not have an air conditioner, and Louise would have never gone out in it in the summer without an air, so we did install a new air conditioner. Obviously, the refrigerator is original. It did not work. We removed it, had it rebuilt at extreme great expense and it still doesn't work very well so we travel with a Dometic cooler. My most recent upgrade or change is to remove the original furnace. I was told it did work although I would have never been very comfortable using a furnace that old due to fear of carbon monoxide poisoning. We have been out in Bambi in 30 degree weather and a small electric heater kept us toasty warm. So we removed the furnace, made a nice little storage area out of it, used the grill from the furnace as the door to the storage area to keep the original look and also the vents on the outside of the trailer are still in place for the original look. We have entered Bambi in two antique car shows at our county fair and have won trophies both times. Since we've owned Bambi, we have spent about 195 nights in her. We've taken somewhere around 34 separate trips and have towed her about 16,000 miles and we certainly look forward to taking many many more trips in Bambi down through the years. We've enjoyed showing Bambi to you and hope someday to see you down the road.